Hello, how you doing? My name is Antonio. My page is Unapologetically Black ADOS on YouTube. I ask that you like and subscribe to the page and share this message. Uh, what I want to say is, I did a video. Black people do too much praying and praising and too little work. I really didn't do the video complete justice. Here's what I mean by that. If you start in Genesis with the birth of Adam, Adam was given a job. He was given domain over the land, right? That was the job inherited to him or given to him by God. So black people, if you are so religious and spiritual, I'm asking you, why do you not take domain over your community? This is what I mean by that. I mean, implementing your religious and belief and applying them in a spiritual manner. This is why I have the 50 Black Man Initiative in the Milwaukee community, because that is Black Man Company. 50 Black Man Milwaukee All Black Man Real Estate Investment Trust. 50 Black Man, $500 initial investment, $25,000. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, they're giving away, uh, they're doing five property for $25,000. That's a program they have here. They fix it up with properties at different levels of investment. In addition, one, $100 per week equals $5,000 in supplies, 10 weeks, uh, 12 hours, Saturday, Sunday, 240 labor hours, $12,000 investment per house, averaging expected return, 2% ownership after the whole project is complete, all properties complete, $500 in property value. Quarterly dividends required to pay 90% of income to remain tax-free. A required required to pay all to pay all their dividends, 90% of their dividends out. Step two, a one hundred thousand dollar house carry a thirty year mortgage has a value of three hundred thousand dollars. We will employ this method as a as the equity line of credit to insure our own vehicles. One hundred fifty dollars per average full coverage that equals seven thousand five hundred dollars monthly. This will be our additional funding for building our own community as well as fulfilling legal requirements under Wisconsin law. However, keeping the revenues within our community and allowing us to allowing us to benefit. This is becoming stockholders and stakeholders in your community. I'm asking the church, why haven't you do or why the church in Milwaukee is not supporting a project such as that. I'm calling the churches out to endorse a member, to sponsor a black man, to be a part of this type of program, to take domain over your community. Coming together and taking domain over their community. Now, in addition to that, when we speak of spirituality, you know, what Europeans have taken from us in religion is the ability to do for self. What Europeans have taught us to do is wait for something in the sky in order to deliver to us what we should be doing ourselves. They have also taught us to give credit to something in the sky for the work that you have done yourself. So if you look at the Bible and the Bible says that God is in closer to you than your juggler vein and your juggler vein is within your body, that means that the God in you. Right? So if you was applying your spirituality with your religion, then you would be committing acts that will bless your people. You will learn the important, you will know the importance of circulating wealth within the black community. If you were applying your spirituality, 
you will be applying that when Jesus says, want for myself what I want, want for my neighbor what I want for myself. You will be applying that by supporting wealth in your community rather than buying products from overseas and uh, buying products from your oppressor. What I'm telling black people, you have to apply the spirituality that you claim. But see, the spirituality was given to you in the forms of you waiting on a God to provide for you what you're supposed to be providing for yourself. That is the trick. That is why they took our religion and our spirituality from us as a people. This is why they stripped you from it, because your spirituality require action. You acted upon your spiritual belief system. We tired of racism. No, we're not. Not the way we spend it. Black people, did you know in America there are about 40 million black people who spend about $1.4 trillion a year on goods and services? Of that number, 98% of it is spent with people who do not look like us. 3% is spent in the black community with people that don't look like us. But what's sad is that 95% is spent outside of the black community with the very same people that are claiming are oppressing us. Black people have to ask us an honest question. In what world can you give away 98% of your economic buying power to your historical arch nemesis and honestly believe that you're about to come up? I mean, make it make sense. That doesn't sound like a group of people that is tired of racism. It sounds like a group of people that is funny. Black people, the solution is what's will forever be simple. Buy black as if your lives depend on it. Buy black by any means necessary. Black people practices group economics. It's so important. It's so important. This is what I promote and believe that we need to learn to practice as a people. I don't just talk that on YouTube. I do this in real life. I understand how my people are targeted and used the most as far as inflation, overcharging my community. So I myself have set out to supply my community with goods and services. At, at the most, uh, at the lowest cost that I'm able to. <clears throat> Making me in competition with Fortune 500 companies like Amazon, Walmart, Costco's, selling five guns of line charge you for $30. And at most cases, I do beat their prices. But yet, still, we have an exorbitant amount of blacks who overlook me and continue to support the Europeans over supporting someone of their own. I don't know why black people believe or think that you are going to live in a community of wealth if you continue to send all your wealth outside of your community. And that spiritual belief system lifted you to great peoples. That's why we can speak on kingdoms and, and nations that black people had prior to the rise of white people is because our spiritual system allowed us to act in a form to create communities that was thriving. But here we lack that spirituality and ability to apply that to one another. This is why our community is in the condition that it is in. It's because we are seeking to run from our people rather than build up with our people. <clears throat> you have to understand there's stories in the Bible about what to do with wealth. There's a story where three men was given a gold uh, coins and one buried the gold coin uh, one floundered the, the, the gold and one uh, went and made an investment and made money off the gold and that's the one that Jesus rewarded. Right? So the, the story of that is that and that a spiritual person will understand that 
you have a community that is a uh, deploy of certain resources. We have communities that are food deserts that lack proper grocery stores, but the black church who gathers hundreds of million dollars on Sundays has not decided to provide that service to the community. So they ignore the concept of teaching man to fish and uh, uh, give a man to fish and he eats for a meal, teach a man to fish, he eats for a lifetime. There's no trades or skill training uh, implemented within the church system. All these part, all these practices and principles we had one time implemented in our whole spiritual system. <clears throat> Black people we suffer from a condition where we don't want our children to do better up than us now. We want our children to understand how hard it was. We want them to see why you couldn't afford them Jordans or them products that your children was uh, acting a fool over or, or complaining about. You want them to understand why it's so difficult. So I believe that's one of the reasons why we haven't implemented the practice of do for myself or do for my neighbor what I would do for myself or want for my neighbor what I would want for myself. That's one of the reasons why we haven't made the proper sacrifices in order to lay down a better future for the next generation. Black people, we have to understand that in order for us to obtain independence from these Europeans, they're going to require some sacrifice. This is why in order to be considered a disciple of Jesus, the requirement was you had to pick up your cross. Meaning you had to bear the weight of your people in order to be a disciple of Jesus. This is what that saying means. So when you look at the prosperity gospel and the methods that the black church and the black church elites have done to separate themselves from their community, which remain overwhelmingly oppressed and which they themselves are draining the life out of, then you can see that the black institu church institutions are not an institution of true spirituality. <clears throat>